This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Marianne Cushy. Let's get right into your local stories here. We begin with a major water main break in the South Bay, impacting a dozen homes and people. All this started at about 4.30 in the morning on Grove Avenue in the Nestor neighborhood. About 100 customers are without power because of the main break. We're working to find out the exact number of homes that have been damaged. We're also being told that some cars may be damaged as well. No evacuations have been ordered, but crews are there working to repair that water main that ruptured suddenly. With Christmas less than two weeks away, water damaged one family's Christmas gifts already. I had just last night when I came home from work, I had wrapped some more gifts and, you know, put more gifts under the tree and it was pretty full and it's ruined. It has, you know, the gifts for the grandbabies, the kids, my mom and dad, so. And just gone. Gone. We are working to find out what exactly caused that water main to break. Crews have stopped the leak and say that they estimate to fully repair it at some point today. The San Diego County Water Authority is set to meet over the newly declared drought emergency for Southern California. That declaration was made by the Metropolitan Water District and it could mean water restrictions in the future for San Diego County. Many water facilities around the county have made investments so we're not dependent on outside sources, including the Carlsbad desalination plant, the underground tank in Mission Trails and a water pur purification system in Oceanside. Conservation is really wired into the San Diego County culture, which is why we've reduced our water so significantly over the past three decades. And that combined with our regional investments and supplies and storage, you know, we're in a position where if MWD were to have cutbacks, it's, it's premature to speculate at this point, but the Water Authority has been prepared in the past and we're prepared now. The San Diego Water Authority will be meeting this afternoon to be better prepared. The Water Authority has a lot of water saving tips and rebates on their website. Now to our pandemic coverage, local hospitals are seeing a rise in cases here in San Diego County. Hospitalizations have reached their highest level since summer. There are 359 patients now in local hospitals. That's the most that we've seen since early August, but it's still far lower than the worst surges in January of 2021 and 22. There were more than 1300 hospitalized COVID patients here in our county. And over the course of the pandemic, we've seen some areas affected more than others. And now the Voice of San Diego has uncovered a disturbing trend in some East County communities. COVID deaths jumped in year two of the pandemic when they dropped pretty much everywhere else. In 2020, Lakeside had the 62nd highest death rate in the county. But in 2021, they had the highest death rate, even when the vaccine had become widely available. Lakeside also had a lower vaccination rate compared to the county's overall average. But vaccinations may be just one piece of the puzzle. That that certainly may not be the only thing that explains it. Um, you know, maybe people also followed precautions less here. But there's also the disruption to the healthcare industry that was important. And some of those same people suffering from diabetes, hypertension, obesity would have benefited from pre pre preventative care that they didn't get. Voice of San Diego reporting also found that COVID deaths went up in Santee, Ramona, and Alpine. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at the forecast. Hey, Marianne, as we head through the day today, you're going to notice more clouds around. We'll see increasing clouds through the afternoon. We're not going to see rain out of these clouds, so it will be cool still. 62 at the coast, 63 inland around 50 in the mountains. Overnight tonight, it's going to be cloudy and also pretty chilly, but in some areas, maybe a few degrees milder because of the clouds, but you'll still need a warm coat tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, we're going to be warmer inland around the upper 60s with more sunshine developing. Over the weekend, we are cool and we stay nice and dry. So still ahead, a major project bringing hundreds of new homes in the North County has come to an end by the Board of Supervisors is scrapping the plan. And the big announcement from Universal Studios on when you can check out their newest attraction. More to come with NBC News Daily. We'll see you right back here in just a bit. Cox plans are flexible and it's really quite clever. Add TV, phone or home automation whenever. Get Cox Internet for the everyday low price of $49.99. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. 
And we're back, so let's get right back into your local stories here. The San Diego police officer who was shot earlier this week is now recovering at home. The man accused of the shooting made his first court appearance from a hospital bed. Andrew Garcia pleaded not guilty. Police say he's recovering from a drug overdose. The judge ordered us not to show you his face because of medical privacy concerns. Garcia is now formally charged with six counts, including attempted murder of a peace officer. The wounded officer has been identified as Javier Hernandez. He was shot three times following a car chase that ended in Mountain View. This was on Monday. We are all extremely thankful that the officer survived his injuries and that the prognosis for him is positive. Uh, you can call it lucky, incredibly fortunate. Uh, his vest saved a shot right to his center mass that could very easily have killed him. Uh, so lucky is definitely one way to describe it. If convicted on all counts, Garcia is facing 43 years to life in prison. The county has officially shut down a plan to build hundreds of new homes in North County. The project is known as Harmony Grove Village South and would have been located near the Escondido area. Yesterday, the County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to rescind the permits for the previously approved development. A lawsuit against the development was filed in 2018. A 2020 ruling sided with several environmental groups opposed to the project, including the Sierra Club and the Endangered Habitats League. A major project to replace the West Mission Bay Bridge is almost finished. The old bridge was built in the 1950s. In 2018, construction on two new overpasses began, each with three lanes in one direction. The southbound bridge is now partially opened. So yesterday was the first time drivers used both new bridges at the same time. Crews are still finishing up their work, but expect to have the overpass fully open in early next year. Now to an update, the state and city of San Diego have agreed to allow outdoor dining made possible by the pandemic permanent fixtures. For many businesses, the patio space once used for parking was the only way they could keep their doors open. But in order to keep those spaces, every two years they'll have to apply for permits, pay fees and replace the parking spaces that they had eliminated. The rest of San Diego County businesses that are not under the Coastal Commission jurisdiction can apply for permits under the Spaces for Places program. Well, California wants to double the number of electric vehicle chargers here in our state. Right now, there are about 80,000 publicly available charging stations. The California Energy Commission approved a plan yesterday to spend nearly $3 billion for 90,000 new stations. Overall, the state has a goal of installing 250,000 chargers by 2025. We'll have a look at your weather forecast right after this. Cox offers a range of high-speed internet plans that fit any budget. Get Cox Internet for $19.99 a month through the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. See if you qualify at cox.com ACP. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. As we head through the day, we're going to see increasing cloud cover, but we're not going to see any rain out of these clouds. Low 60s at the coast, around 63 inland. Mountains will become mostly cloudy around 50. Deserts mid 60s. So tonight it'll stay cloudy, cold tomorrow morning, but maybe not as cold in some areas. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be a little milder with more sunshine. Mid 60s at the coast, upper 60s inland. The weekend a little cool and dry. Next week looks good. Approaching Christmas weekend, your travel weather looks great. Universal Studios Hollywood just announced when the new Super Mario World attraction will open. It'll open up on Friday, February 17th. Super Nintendo World will feature interactive activities for the entire family. More coverage on NBCSanDiego.com.